All right, guys, court is in session. The gavel is ready. Are you ready? It's time for Hoda and Jenna's Relationship, Relationship Court Etiquette Edition. Okay, and today we have a very special judge in our court, etiquette expert and author of the new book, Mind Your Manners, Sarah Jane Ho. All right, Sarah Jane, we're so happy to see you. Uh, okay, let's talk about your top etiquette tip before we get to our cases. Ooh, my top etiquette tip. Yeah. You know what I wish people would practice more is smile upon eye contact. Ah. And was it, we, uh, we underestimate how powerful a smile is, how it can really lift other people up, how it can make people think that we like them, which in turn makes them like us. Yeah. And by the way, it's a completely free tool. Yeah. Really, it so, makes people's day. Why not? Exactly. And so in your community, whether it's your workplace, your school, your neighborhood cafe, your comp, the building you live in, when you make eye contact with somebody, smile. 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 That's such okay, a good one. A good okay, one. you also have to talk about your new book. It's awesome. Yeah. How is this one? What, what's going on in this book? Tell us everything. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, I had my Netflix show, Mind Your Manners, that came out a little over a year ago. And now my book, and it's called Mind Your Manners, How to Be Your Best Self in Any Situation. I love that. Mm. So, so it's spread across five different chapters. We have love and relationships, career, social life. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we have food and travel, mm. and it's and family. Mm -hmm. So it's really a meaty, practical guide for anybody who wants to achieve social fluency. Amazing. Uh, shall we get to our cases? Yes, the court is All in session. All right, we have uh, folks with a disagreement. Ben, should we hear Ben? Tell us about our first oh. case. Right. It's the case of the pop culture conflict. Elena and Dave have been married for four months. They love talking and connecting about their interests, but clash over the topics of conversation. Oh, oh this is this good. You see, okay, Elena, you will have 20 seconds to make your case, then Dave, you have 20 seconds to make your rebuttal. Elena, go ahead and start. Look, I'm a pop culture editor. It is my job to be obsessed with entertainment. Dave and I have our shows, but when it comes to things that he's not interested in, he won't really stretch his boundaries for me. <laughs> the other day, I wanted to talk about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, and he said, football season is over. Can we talk about something else? Oh. <laughs> I talk about engineering all the time. Would it kill him to watch Love is Blind or talk about Taylor and Travis? I don't oh. think so. Oh, okay. and it's part of her work. We want to say fine argument. Fine. Okay, we're going on record. And we also love her because she works here. But yeah. Dave, we're not going to... We're not going to be biased. Go right. ahead. 20 seconds on the clock. Let's go. So I love my wife and I definitely enjoy talking to her about things that she wants to talk about. And I always want to make her feel heard. But sometimes I feel like we talk about pop culture all the time. Uh -huh. Every discussion is pop culture uh, centric. I like Travis and Taylor as much as the next guy. <laughs> uh, but I would prefer if we talked about something a little bit more interesting that I think about all the time. Something like the Roman Empire. <laughs> oh. dun, dun, dun. All right, Sarah Jane, this is all up to you. Okay, I understand both sides. I, I think that it's, you know, a lot of what we go through the day, we want to share with our partner, right? So Elena, being a pop culture editor, wants to share the most exciting things yeah. with her partner, Dave. However, it's important that you have to strike a balance. And while you do want to let yourself be your most authentic self, right? You don't, you don't want to be in a position in a relationship where you feel like you can't talk about things. At the same time, you need to understand if you love somebody, if you love Dave, and you want to give him peace of mind and sanity, then you should have an understanding about, okay, I will talk about pop culture. Because Dave is not saying that you can't talk about it. He's saying within reason, not all the time. Okay. So listen, I have to say that I rule with Dave. <laughs> oh, Elena. <laughs> on Reed with Jenna, so I rule with Elena. <laughs> All you. right. Okay. Thank okay. You. Let's. Well, sorry, girl. <laughs> God. All right. Let's go to case number two. Ben, tell us about it. It's the case of the punctuality problem. Engaged couple Marcy and Rob have been together for five years. They love spending time with family and friends, but don't see eye to eye on when to arrive. This one's near and dear to me. Marcy and Rob, you're each going to have 20 seconds to make your case. I'm trying to figure out who's the early bird and who's late, but we'll find out. Marcy, go ahead. I believe in being early for almost everything, but when we're invited to somebody's home for dinner, I don't want to be early. I want to be on time. Yeah. Right. When we arrive in the area, often by subway, um, it can be really early, and I want to walk around the block or, you know, do some, what if they're vacuuming? What if they're cleaning what if they're you know cooking dressing so i don't want to go in early but okay okay marcy All good right, call marcy, we hear you rob if we're invited somewhere for dinner at seven 
we try to leave our apartment early enough that we'll be there on time. But sometimes we arrive early, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Marcy would have us walk around outside for 15 minutes. That doesn't make sense to me. If we'd invited people to our place at 7, I wouldn't want somebody standing outside our building for 15 minutes. I think etiquette should be practical. Okay, okay. now right. this is a very this is a good one. I'm into this. All right. <sighs> okay, when it comes to visiting someone's home, being on time is early and being five minutes late is on time because mm. right up until the time you arrive is their most busiest, right? They're back, they're putting their makeup on, they're putting on the last details of the table. I would say, first of all, Marcy, I would recommend you try to understand why you need to be 15 or 20 minutes late, uh, so why you need to be 15 or 20 minutes early to things. Where, Maybe therapy, I would recommend. This, I, wait, I no, 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 no. She said she they, wants to be on time. No, but I think they were just getting there early because they took the subway and they're like, oh, it's we still have 15 minutes But also, to kill. she said she wanted to arrive on time, Marcy, yeah, on not time. early. Right, but, but, but Rob is saying that every time it's 15 minutes early. Early. I think so no, what is just, it? It's no, 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 no. It. It's a subway. Subway. Okay, it's, it's subway. a subway. Okay, it's a subway. So you accidentally arrive early. Right. So you're like, now right. what do we do? If you're We're lucky. not always early. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you're not, not always early. Okay. Yeah. Well, in that case, I would say that it's, you know, you, you don't want to be late. Mm -hmm. It's okay if you walk around the block. Yeah. As long as you don't walk around the block four or five times, I have to say I rule with Marcy. Marcy. Okay. <laughs> so I'll just be, be clear. On the block. Hold on. Who do you want to rule with? Because okay, she arrives look, 15 minutes early to everything. early, and I'll go into someone's house early. I'm like, I know I'm the first one here. Hi, do you need any mm -hmm. help? I'm like, we're, we're kind of the same, but I get the idea. I get it. It's, it's rude. It's a little bit rude, I think, okay. for me to do that. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Sarah Jane. Right, thank, thank you, Sarah you. Jane. If you guys have a relationship case you want heard, go to hodaandjenna.com. Hit the connect button.